Oh. Okay, new world, new world name. Well, let's be let's be overly confident. This one is not dying. Any predictions? Going to be a good world or not? Going to be bad? Interesting, but inter it's always going to be interesting. So I saw Savannah, went, oh shit, and my goodness. Belle, a person has never been more wrong than you just were. This is fucking excellent. And there's a coral reef in there. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we got... Holy shit, the beach is just trans. Well, this is slightly off, but yeah, it's fucking trans trans beach. Fucking awesome, awesome rock formation for us to build our house on. We're balling. Though there are some, there are some annoying dry biomes nearby. Let's fucking go. This is great. This is great. Now we just gotta not fuck it up. Usually so much harder to find gravel in this sort of world. But we are blessed. Game finally realized it's Pride Month and is letting me thrive. Village oh it's an abandoned village. Ingenious play. I perfectly calculated that I could fall that far without dying. I meant to grab them on the way down. Shh. Okay, I probably shouldn't be here now that I'm almost dead. But we stealth. Well, I think we might have found what happened to this, where this village went. Looks like they've, they're have they hiding in a bunker over there. I'm sure they won't mind this. Don't you think? Uh, no, it's just accidental environmental storytelling of a village and an underground village spawning right next to each other. Now here is even more environmental storytelling. Someone tried to leave the bunker and clearly it didn't end up going too well. Oh fuck yeah, iron pick. Oh shit, ruined portal. Okay. I guess we could go to the nether. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's a very filled in portal. What's inside the chest? Looks like we're going to the nether. Uh, a magnetic golden pickaxe. A malpractical golden pickaxe. And a blast pro chest plate. Nice. We don't actually have a flint and steel yet, so we can't get in here. I'll just mark it down. Now, once again, let's go to the nether. This time with even worse gear than the last. Oh, okay, yep, we're being shot. Bye, bye, bye. Don't you dare kill me while I'm loading. Oh shit, I'm immediately being attacked from this side too. Okay, uh, sorry, brain just reacted before... No, wait. Yeah, brain reacted before I could actually think there. I saw a load of purple things. 
noticed I was on sand. So glad the game was laggy. That would have killed us. Okay, at least we have easy access to blaze rods. Once we're strong enough to take them on. Anyway, there's a convenient campsite. Oh god. Convenient campsite over this way. I think we're going to take up temporary residence there. Because it's significantly closer than our... other place we're staying at. As long as we don't run into any bats, we should be good. One campfire and accompanying tent. Just what I needed. We have way too many flint and steels now. Okay, what's the plan now, I guess? I think we head back to the village and get us some organization of all our things. Then we start collecting for a proper house on that cool rock formation. I hope that the residents of this bunker don't mind me mining around near them. We've even got a fancy entrance and exit system. Hello, hey, you guys. Hello, anyone home? Hello. Where have... there's something through here? No, there's not. It would seem that the plot thickens. The bunker is also completely abandoned. I guess they must have all left together. Well, I guess that means it's free for the Luton. Environmental storytelling. What was I telling you, chat? Great. Especially when it's unintentional. So, what do we think happened here? Like, there's no, like, living quarters or anything. I reckon the village's elite tried to hide underground from whatever apocalypse took happened to this world. It's very clear something happened, like you've seen the weather patterns and that sort of rock formation don't look natural. So something happened. That village's elite tried to flee underground. It went horribly wrong for a lack of planning. Over time, they tried venturing outwards with varying degrees of success, but it seems in the end they've all died. Are there any theories on what happened to this land chat? Love me some good world building if anyone has some ideas. A sharknado? Inter interesting theory. I like it. I mean, there's certainly evidence to suggest that might have been the case. I mean, what else but a shark could take such massive chomps out of the land like this and like this? Ooh, a boat. <gasps> there might be survivors of... Someone might have escaped safely. We must investigate. Okay, hold on. Evidence against it being a Sharknado. You wouldn't escape to sea if it was sharks that caused the end of the world. And if the sharks are now gone from the sea? I doubt that. I imagine after 
they stopped nadoing, they probably went back and kept living their lives, especially now that all the humans were gone and couldn't keep hunting them like we do in... Do we hunt sharks? Yeah, we can say the villagers did. Or maybe after so many generations underground, society forgot what it was they were hiding from, came out, went to sea. Because there were dangers on the land as well. And... Who knows? No. Are there survivors? Yeah, more coral reef. Also, that's a shark. There's a shark there. Another survivor. It's true. Someone made it out alive. So, uh, hold on. Tell me your story. Mm-hmm. Go on, go on, okay. Mm hmm. Okay, and then what happened? Okay. So... Mm -hmm, that makes sense. But, like, were you... Um... Did you know... Do you know how the world was destroyed? Okay, so you were born in the bunker. Huh. Hmm. Do you know if anyone else made it out safely? Thank you, thank you. Okay. It's been wonderful staying with you. Stay safe. What's that? What's that? What, wait, what, what biome is that? Is that something nice or is it more savannah? Please don't be more savannah. It's a swamp! Hang on. What's this? Find a sunken ruin. Huh. So another... Another civilization that was devastated by the... Sh what we're presuming was a Sharknado. It seems like our working theory of Sharknado <laughs> is absolutely fitting with the world building provided. Ooh. Ayo, cool hat. See no flaws? I see no flaws either. It's 100% a potentially canon answer. Also, we got a cool hat. It's actually just as good as an iron helmet, but with more durability. We also have bottles of lightning, which I'm gonna save for later. I'll give you another bit of ruin. Oh shit, 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 shit. That's inconvenient. Let's test out this bottle of lightning. I don't actually know how this works. Shit, no, no, of course. That just makes a charge creeper. Oh no. Fuck, I made it worse for myself. Oh. Oh god, how long does this last? Yeah. <clears throat> Still gonna get better at meowing. Oh, there's an uh, interesting swamp down here. We have to go explore it. It has potential for more... ...history we could learn about... There, let's try that sentence again. Potentially more... Uh, ...pre-NATO... ...things this way. Ruins, mayhaps. Something that could tell us more about what society was like and what happened. Oh shit. I know, I. Great, bandits. 
God. God damn it. Horse. When humans survive, what's the first thing they do? Start making other humans not survive. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I'm leaving. You know, the good thing about swamps is that things get preserved much better than they would anywhere else. You know, we can really get a good look at what went on pre-NADO. However, we might have finally found it. We might have finally found a society rebuilt. There is. Yeah, I need to find like this village's elders and interview them about things. They might they might know things that we wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. Okay, interesting. Interesting architecture. Blending in with the terrain. Yes, I, I could see with with something of this with the calamity of this nature, I could see how this type of architecture would make sense, and they've built over, it looks like they've built over the ruins of something pre-NATO. What the fuck is happening this stream? I mean, like, this is exactly the sort of stream I love to do, where we just make up a stupid story and world building for what we're doing, but like, what the fuck? Again, Minecraft Sharknado. <laughs> no, no one expected the, no one expected not dying to have so much lore, or for it to be a Sharknado. <laughs> I mean, I guess the world, the name of the world, really encompasses that spirit of humanity, even after a comedically large-scale calamity. We're still not dying. No, I'm sure I'm sure they'll be fine with just sparing a spyglass for me. Anything else we should dump? No. Oh shit! Fuck! Fuck! I accidentally hit a villager. I'm sorry. I was going to make points about how they had a, like, they even had lookout things posted, which would make sense in a post-apocalyptic scenario. It's even well secluded. You're ready for the cool rock? I don't think you're, well, it's too late. You have to be ready. There's the cool rock. Also, um, Pride Beach. Yeah, look at this rock. This is a cool rock. Also, all those seals are gay and trans. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Like, I want to build on it, but I don't actually have any clue how on earth I'd what how on earth I'd make a good looking build attached to this. Also it gets even gayer because there's even a whole rainbow of coral down here. Oh. And before we drown, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Let's see where this map leads us. It's it looking like it's actually an adventure time. And oh great, it's not on land. No, but it's just here, so that's fine. We got 
Flippers. Improved water agility. Nice. We speedy. Um, and just some other treasures. Bundle all that up. See this? Broken bridge. That's what that's what a Sharknado do to a world. Also, since we're over here, let's just do some exploring anyway. We're in a whole new land. Kind of. Wandering tr oh, we don't have any emeralds. Hello. Nice to see another wanderer out here in the wasteland. Say, where are you headed? Any settlements nearby? Do you know, do you know any settlements nearby? That I could... No? Okay. Well, see you around. Well, yeah, worth a try. Now, let's get back to Pride Bay. Does anyone actually have any ideas for what we could, how we could integrate some manner of base into the Cool Rock? Because, like, I'm honestly not sure how to approach this. Bridgetown? I mean, that could work, that could work. Definitely an option. Hey, look. Hold on, let me get fish. I want a cat. I want cat. I want the jelly cat. Fish time. What in the fucking hell? Okay, that's like the rarest fishing loot I could get. How do I... How do I open it? Oh, shift click, okay. Well, um, loot box, I guess. We got some iron, some gold, some emeralds, and some bottle of enchanting. No, I need a fish game. I mean, jumps. Yes, got it. There you go. It's a good girl. Come on. Boat. Shit. You. Fuck. You. <sighs> well played. Well played. You actually got me there. You. I am just gonna collect some stuff from which we will make. Like a, an elaborate ladder, staircase, and get up onto the top of that rock. Here we go. First, kind of a bit of a shelf on this thing. I don't actually know how much space there's going to be like on the top of this. Hopefully a lot. Hey Jelly. Oh god, we are so going to fall to our death at some point, aren't we? And it's not even... It is, it's going to be entirely my fault. We should also probably head down. So, as they say. Geronimo. Now... Uh, Why the fuck was that creeper regenerating health? Did anyone else see that on oh, its health bar? It was going back up after I hit it. Is 
Has that always been a thing? Oh yeah, I was just going to quickly grow this azalea tree and see if the wood looks nice. There we go. Now, do we like the azalea wood? I think, I think that would actually work really well on cool rock. But hold on, just hear me out for a second while I go grab the thing that I want to be heard out about. I was thinking we go for A. Dual wood type um, building palette. Hold on. I think that actually works pretty well together. Well, that's not good. Fuck, Blood Moon is never good. Context? Scary. I know what this means is that there's going to be a lot of monsters spawning and we can't sleep through it. That cow. This looks so out of place. Actually, no, that... My god, that that is one powerful cow. It just deleted a skeleton from existence. Okay, we're halfway through. Cow, show us your power. He did it again! Chat, any name suggestions for our new overlord? Blood Moo. Oh, that is. That's good. That's good. The Blood Moo. Blood for the Blood Moo. Jelly's just down there chilling. To oh, God. <laughs> There you go, you stay safe now. Greetings, what brings you to Pride Bay? In this fine post apocalypse. You may lower your weapons. They're homophobic? No, they, I think they just... They must have just heard word of what we were doing of the Pride Bay and they... they, they Surely they just want to stay here, right? Okay, okay, homophobes, homophobes. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. God damn it, they followed us all the way from the... They must, have, they must be from the swamp. Okay, terrible idea, terrible idea. Yes, kill each other. Classic homophobes. They're so caught up in a very uncoordinated effort to spite the rest of us that they end up hurting each other's arguments in the process. God, I love turning stupid, meaningless things in video games into political commentary. Nice. And to the ocean it shall return. Hello, hello, hello. Who's this? Hello. 
Oh god, damn. Damn, one single working class person did more damage to me than an entire army of fascists. Damn, maybe we don't get our satisfying narrative conclusion. Or maybe it's just me looking dramatically off into the distance and saying some stupid thing like it's something about how humanity never dies. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather. I'm sorry. <laughs> serving in the army. <laughs> okay, there we go. That and that's that's the satisfying narrative conclusion to this adventure in the post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> War never changes. Humanity will never stop rising again from its ashes, and I will never stop turning random encounters into political commentary. Bye! Okay, we can go. See ya! Oh, that was a smooth wing.